calculate the divergence of the following radial vector field. So to get started here, we want to note a theorem, a little shortcut here, when we have a radial field of a certain notation. So this is called the divergence of a radial field. And so this theorem tells us that for all p, or for all real numbers p, if you have a radial vector field of the form vector f defined by the vector x, y, z all over x squared plus y squared plus z squared raised to the p divided by 2, which we can also think about as the position vector r over the magnitude or length of that position vector raised to the p power, then the divergence can be computed as followed. So we say that the divergence of the vector field f is equal to 3 minus that real number p all over the magnitude of r raised to the p power. So this, again, there is a proof in our lecture notes going and exploring this in more detail. But once we have this, when you're given a radial vector field of this notation, as we are here, it's a nice shortcut. So the first thing I want to do is looking at this given radial field, we want to identify what is P. What is that real number? So looking at this here, we can see that our magnitude of R is squared, implying that P is equal to 2. So plugging this in, therefore, the divergence of the vector field is equal to 3 minus 2 all over the magnitude of vector r squared, leaving us with a beautiful final answer, 1 by the magnitude of vector r squared. And that is it. This is the divergence of our radial field.